Hey, welcome back to Way of the Wrench and on today's very special episode we are going to be showing you how to do drum breaks really fast and we're going to talk about why that's important. So stick around, you're not going to want to miss it. Alright, so today's video is being made as a special request by my automotive students. They don't want to watch a 25 minute video on how to do drum breaks and all the theory and everything behind it. They just want a short little two, three minute video showing the steps on how to take it apart, put it back together and adjust it properly so that they can do the same. So this video is for them, but it is also for you guys to show how fast you can actually do this. Now, why is that important? Well, for me, when I teach students how to do something like this and as complex as a drum break setup, generally when I come back and make sure it's all been done properly, the faster they were at it generally shows how well they know the information. They're not spending a lot of time scratching heads and getting help from friends, etc. So there's that part. And then as a mechanic out in industry, making flat rate, the faster you can get this job done, the more money you can make. Meaning that if you take too long on this job, you're actually robbing yourself of money. If you can get it done really, really quick and properly, you can move on to the next job and start making more money even that way too. So there is some kind of importance in how quickly and efficiently you can do work. So enough yakking, I'm gonna reset up the camera and I'm gonna show you how to do this really, really quickly. Okay, don't forget your safety glasses before you start. All right, on your mark, get set, go. So first we're gonna take the upper return springs off. Give them a little twist, take them out. Take off the actuating link. Take off the parking brake link. Take down the one hold down spring. Take the other hold down spring. Take the link off the parking brake cable and there's the springs off. Parking brake lever back into the cable. Now to hold this so it doesn't fall apart, we're going to put the pin back in, the hold down spring. Line up the groove. Turn it 90. Before we get too carried away, we'll put the parking brake lever back in. Okay, second hold down spring. And this one, there's not a lot of room. So if the shoe is sitting down or sagging a bit, the pin won't be long enough, so watch that. Which is exactly what's happening right now. Okay, turn it 90, put the other return spring back in there. Okay, link back in, top on the anchor pin, upper return springs in. Give it a little twist, use the end of the brake spring pliers, lever them on to the other side. And give it a little hit. Measure your drum with the drum brake caliper. Make sure you got one mil of clearance. In this case, there is one mil of clearance because everything's brand new. Throw this back on and we're all done. 
All right, there you go. That was pretty fast. I don't know if that was beating my record of two minutes and 34 seconds on doing these things, but that was pretty fast. If you're faster than me, why don't you put it down in the comment section below and let me know how fast you can do drum breaks. Now, if this video was really fast and you want to know a little bit more of exactly what you're doing and how to do it and all the little intricacies of drum breaks, I've got a great video. I'll put a link above for you so you can go watch that. And then you too can understand these things fast enough to do it like that. Uh, if you haven't already, why don't you join us on Instagram? Uh, that way you can see everything going on in the shop in between videos. And until next time, take it easy.